Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. What's going on, everybody? Uh, so today's video is a little bit different. Um, if you're here from my channel, from like the search box or you know related videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new. Um, as far as everybody else, um, what's going on with y'all? How's y'all day going so far? Um, today, I believe that my day is going a little bit better than yesterday, and the reason for that is I've decided to get braces and. <laughs> Ooh, saying it out loud um, honestly scares me. Um, I know I'm, I'm like 30 and I'm scared to get braces. And I've watched like so many videos on YouTube of like 12 year olds getting the braces and being happy as hell. Well, guess what? I'm not happy. But um, basically, I've decided to, you know, take that big step and to get braces. Now, ever since I started YouTube, you know, as soon as I started getting on camera, there were all the, always those little comments saying, hey, uh, what's up with dude grill? Or, man, it's time to get your teeth fixed. And, you know, as I progressed on the years, you know, I didn't think of anything of it. You know, the comments really didn't hurt me at all. But then, you know, recently, somebody left in the comment section saying, man, this dude is getting way too much YouTube money to still have some meth effed up teeth. I'm just going to put it like that. Straight and simple. Straight raw. He, that's how he said it, right? So, you know, in my mind, I was like, you know what? I'm going to block this dude. I ain't never going to have to worry about him ever again. But then it just dawned on me like a light bulb. And I just was thinking, you know what? It may be time for me to try to shop around and, and, and see how much this braces thing would, would cost. So, I went to the orthodontist and, you know, of course, you know, you have to go to your regular dentist then they have to refer you after cleaning and x-raying and everything like that, making sure you don't have any immediate danger, which I don't. I don't have any cavities or anything like that. Then, you know, I got the referral. So I call up the orthodontist and literally they were like, look, we got an appointment next week. If it's urgent, you can come in today. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Because it sounded like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre waiting to happen. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take that appointment today. I'll wait till next week. So one week goes by and as soon as I go in the office, you know, they got the, the, the little fluorescent light bulbs and, and you know, it's like people behind the counter and they look crazy. And then like you go and look at the dentist and he got like this thing on his, his head. It's like, never mind, never mind. I'm thinking about another scary movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not scared. I'm not scared, I'm just concerned. So any big decision that I usually make in life, I always have my wife with me um, and she's always there to fill out paperwork, uh, ask all the questions, cause I'm usually the guy that just is ready to pay for something to just get it done. And I never ask any questions. I never ask about what ifs or anything like that. So, you know, we go in, she's filling out my paperwork, like I said, and you know, they take me back to, I guess, take pictures of like my face and stuff like that. And I can tell you guys right now, it was very scary. Yes, it was just me and a Nikon camera, but it was still scary. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm hoping that you guys can see the pictures right below me. These are literally mug shots. Yes, I walked to the back of the orthodontist and they took mug shots of me. Now, I wasn't sure if I was about to get locked up. I wasn't sure if they were taking pictures to see what type of size head they were gonna put on their mantle or anything like that. But yeah, I was, I was pretty scared. Now, to make this picture make much more sense, all they did was take a picture of my mouth, they took a picture of my head, my jawline, or whatever jawline they could see from this awesome beard. And then they told me to open my mouth as wide as possible. I told them not to poison me, and they still took some more pictures, so yeah, that happened. But after I got the pictures taken, um, I went back out to the lobby, and they told us to come back for the consultation. So as far as the consultation went, the orthodontist came in and you know, me and my wife are just sitting there, I'm shaking, she's like chill. And you know, basically he was telling me that I had plenty of options. There was nothing that they couldn't do to fix what's going on in this grill. So let me tell you guys the options that they gave me. They told me that I can get one, braces. They told me that I can get plastic braces and they told me that I can get Invisalign. Now, what I want you guys to do, if you're still watching, go inside the comment section and tell me which one you think I should get. Do you think I should get the regular metal braces, the plastic braces, or the Invisalign? Now, I'm pretty, pretty particular about what I do on YouTube, 
And me, I kind of got my mind made up, but I need your help. So please leave that comment to help me below in the comment section. Now, back to what I was saying. So they did give me an option to get metal, plastic, or a Visalign. And they told me that there are a couple things wrong with my mouth. Now, one thing that I do know is that I'm missing a tooth. And I know you guys are probably going to say, man, stop all that smoking. What's wrong with you? I don't do drugs. I don't smoke cigarettes. What happened was... I actually bit into something around the age of 18 or 19, maybe, maybe even 20. I think my son was born around that time. So I bit into something and my tooth literally cracked. Now, this was a moment in my life where, if we all know, if you don't go to college in Pennsylvania, you do not stay on your parents' health insurance. And I was literally coming into a new job. And I didn't get the proper dental plan for that year. And I was literally young and I didn't have the money to go fix it. I didn't, I literally didn't. And this was a big mistake because everything could have been saved if I would have took those precautions. So now that I don't have a tooth, they told me that there's nothing that they can do there because they're orthodontists. And I would have to go back to my regular dentist to get something done with that. But I'm kind of content with my missing tooth. I really don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't like I'm drinking smoothies every day, but I, I really don't need this. I'm not chewing on anything hard, like hard candy, Jolly Ranchers. Shh, don't tell my wife about it. I told her I bit into like an apple or something. But now they also told me that I literally have, um, my line is off. Like, okay, I don't know if I can kind of do this, but see the line like right here, the one that matches like my nose, they said the, the bottom like row of teeth, that line in the middle is off center. So when I smile, the center line doesn't meet with the top and bottom. So they said with the braces, they said they can fix all that. But what they said was they are hoping that I get to keep my wisdom teeth. They said my wisdom teeth have nothing to do with the process. I still have all my wisdom teeth, but what they said was that, so since the line is off center, they told me that I have two options there. They said I can start the braces process and hopefully nothing goes wrong in my mouth. Whereas though while they're fixing the crowding, everything just, just comes in smoothly. But they said, if anything has to be done, they will be taking a tooth from the bottom row. And no, not a tooth from the sides. They're gonna be taking this tooth right here. And I'm scared to death, guys. I'm scared that they're gonna start calling me Toothless Carter in my videos, and I don't know what to do. So I need y'all to pray for me. I need y'all to pray that this braces situation goes well, and that they won't have to take any of the bottom front row teeth and to make everything fit. Now, also, they said if they do take this tooth, I will no longer have a center line here at all. They say that a, a random tooth, I'm not sure which tooth it is because I don't want to get it pulled, so I ain't going to point to it again. But they said there will literally be a tooth sitting under here. So the center line from the top row of my teeth will literally meet with a tooth, and I won't have that center line anymore if they have to pull a tooth. Now, they show me what that would look like in a, a, a 3D diagram. I wish I had those videos for you, but maybe I'll put some up on screen if I can find one. But that's what they said will happen if they have to pull a tooth. Now, I can't lie to you guys. I'm still scared. And I still went through with it. I still went through the process of starting the braces. Now, check this out. They told me straight up, it's gonna take five weeks for everything to get set up right after the holidays. So starting around maybe January 3rd to the 10th, that's my next appointment to get braces. Now, before I get up out of here, I'm gonna tell you guys the second thing that I went through, they literally had to scan my mouth to get my molding, to get everything right. So they literally had this big machine thing, like this weird thing that like flashes light all up in my mouth, like, I was like oh, 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 oh. and I'm like, yo, this lady's trying to kill me. Why are you putting this thing in my mouth? I don't like nothing in my mouth besides food and water. What's wrong with this lady? But you know what? I got through it. You know, what I'm you know I got through it. 
and you know I'm gonna be getting braces. So, also just to let you guys know, a uh, fun fact: braces cost a lot without insurance, about six thousand four hundred dollars worth. So yeah, if you have insurance right now and you are thinking about getting braces and you are whatever age, whether you're a kid, whether you're a teen, whether you're a, a young adult, whether you're someone my age or an older adult, I advise you to have health insurance and dental. Please make sure you do. But as far as I go, 30 year old, getting braces, coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. And my next video about this whole braces situation I'm literally going to record the entire session, yes, of me getting them installed, put on, whatever the case may be, you'll see it, and you'll have more to talk about. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.